Hello and welcome to the in your series of Drishti IS. Today we are going to discuss about Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array Telescope. This is important to be discussed from the perspective of prelims examination as well as from the perspective of GS Physics Paper 3rd. Without any further ado, let us look at the different topics that we are going to cover today step by step. Of course, we will start with the news. Then about ALMA, that is the telescope. It is situated in the Atacama Desert of South America. And why is it so? We will discuss that as well. We will also talk about Atacama Desert and what are some notable discoveries which have been made by ALMA. It's a very important telescope. Now, the news is that the Atacama a Large Millimeter some millimeter array it is going to get software update and hardware upgrades because it is pretty old now and that will help it to collect much more data and produce a better picture when it comes to the origins of the universe the upgrades would take around 5 years to finish the cost is a whopping 37 million dollars all right moving on now the replacement will be done by you know replacement will be upgraded as well uh, or we can say it will get one of the fastest supercomputers ever and the replacement of its correlator which is a supercomputer it combines the input from individual antennas it has different antennas to capture uh, and each antenna has its own receiver now it allows astronomers to produce highly detailed images of the celestial orbit object not orbit and ALMA what if we talk about the telescope ALMA is state of the art a very different kind of telescope it's a radio telescope that means it captures radio emissions which are given by the celestial natural objects or artificial objects as well it studies celestial objects at millimeter and sub millimeter wavelength and this is the reason that it can penetrate through dust clouds and also it will help because of that the astronomers to examine the dim and distant galaxies so uh, whatever dust and gases are surrounding it the celestial bodies it can penetrate through that as well moving on now it also has extraordinary sensitivity that means the dimmest of the objects can be detected by it it allows it to detect even extremely faint radio signals very small radio signals the telescope consists of 66 high precision antenna and each uh, and it is spread over a distance of up to 16 kilometers very large each antenna is outputted with a series of receivers that means it will give a better detailed picture than compared to other telescopes. Each receiver is tuned to a specific range of wavelength that means every receiver has a range it is tuned to a range of different wavelengths so that we cannot go like one size fit all for all the celestial objects okay and the antenna can be moved closer together or further apart from uh, you know so that the pictures can be analyzed from different perspectives. Now, the imagery can be done of deepest and darkest spaces because of these very features. It produces a single image from all the antenna. It is done by the correlator, okay, the supercomputer. Moving on, now if we talk about why is it located in the Atacama Desert. See, it is located at an altitude of 16,570 feet above sea level. And it is done so at the Chajnan Todd Plateau in Chile's Atacama Desert. And it is done so because as the millimeter and sub-millimeter waves observed by this telescope are very susceptible to atmospheric water vapor. As it is the driest desert in the entire planet, this is the reason why this telescope has an upper hand because lack of water vapor. Moreover, the desert is the driest place in the world and most of the nights here are clear of clouds so that it can penetrate through the skies better and because of the and you know absence of light and water vapor and clouds it can produce better images now let's talk about the Atacama desert Atacama desert is situated up for approximately 1000 kilometers in the plateau of North Chile okay this is Chile and here is Atacama desert it also lies at the border near the border not at the but near the border of Peru Bolivia and Argentina okay the Atacama Desert is the driest non-polar desert in the world. It, it's non-polar, remember that. It is not present at the poles. And also it is the only true desert in the sense that it receives less pre precipitation rate. Less precipitation compared to other polar deserts. Moving on. Now in fact it is so dry that some, of, some weather stations in the desert have never recorded even a single drop of rain. And the northern coastal areas do receive a little more rainfall 
as as a result these are less aerated so remember these preliminary facts moving on now the important discoveries always revolve around the age old questions answering the age old questions of what is the origin of the universe so one of the earliest findings from this telescope came in 2013 it discovered star burst galaxies earlier in the universe's history than they were previously thought to have existed that means it made sure that universe is much older than we think it is in the detailed images of the protoplanetary disk, uh, disk around hl tauri hl tauri is a very young t tauri star which is present in the constellation taurus so there also it had a helping hand it dated it approximately 450 light years away from the earth giving a better picture of the universe then in 2015 the telescope helped scientists observe a phenomenon which is known as the einstein ring what is einstein ring einstein ring occurs when the light from a galaxy or star it passes through a massive object on route to earth in extraordinary detail so this is also a preliminary fact it was observed by our own alma now during uh, because of the uh, project such as the event horizon telescope project what has happened that many important telescopes of the planet are interrelated so under this project also the alma provided the first image of the supermassive black hole at the center of our own galaxy the milky way the image was unveiled by scientists in may 2022 so it is packed with preliminary facts if you know want to know about alma and atacama uh, and also the analytical portion why it is situated in the atacama desert it is very important for you to watch this segment thank you so much stay updated